Ladies and gentlemen, the chairman of the Walt Disney Studios, Alan Horn. Hello, and thank you for being here on this momentous occasion. It's so great to have you all with us. First, I have to hand it to the side street strutters for that medley. This, what's the word? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? It's been in my head now for 54 years, <laughs> but it'll stay there. All four songs in that medley were originally recorded right here on this sound stage. And what an entrance by the spectacular Disneyland band and two of our very special guests, Minnie and Mickey Mouse. We're here tonight to recognize a partnership whose impact on popular culture is, frankly, immeasurable. But it's really two partnerships, one between two tremendously talented brothers and one between those brothers and our company. We often talk about Walt Disney as a visionary, and he was. He knew something special when he saw it, or in, this, or in the case of Robert and Richard Sherman, when he heard it. To Walt, they were the boys. And today, it's impossible to imagine the Walt Disney Company without the timeless tunes of these masters of melody. They went on to become the most prolific songwriters in the history of Hollywood, bringing together people with their universally loved music, from Mary Poppins, The Jungle Book, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, to The Enchanted Tiki Room, and It's a Small World at our parks. Try getting that one out of your head. <laughs> and of course, I can't leave out the unforgettable Winnie the Pooh, which, is, which the Sherman Re Brothers recorded on this stage in 1966. All these years later, we're so fortunate to have Richard write three new songs for our new, brand new film, Christopher Robin, directed by Mark Forster, right over there, which we're premiering tonight in a theater near you. It's actually very near you, it's, it's right here. All these years later, we're so fortunate to have Richard write three new songs for this film, and we're premiering it. The Sherman Brothers are an integral part of the Walt Disney legacy, and I'm touched to have the honor of dedicating this historic space as the Sherman Brothers stage. Though Robert is no longer with us, we are thrilled to have three of his children and four of his grandchildren with us this evening. As for Richard and his lovely wife, Elizabeth, I had the chance to meet them, for me, the first time when we did Saving Mr. Banks in 2013. Is that what it was? 2013? My wife, Cindy, and I have had dinner with them a couple of times in palatial but not ostentatious surroundings. <laughs> and they were just lovely, lovely, long, fabulous dinners, and we look forward to more. Richard just turned 90 in June. I think that alone deserves applause. So it's my pleasure to welcome Richard and Elizabeth, their daughter Vicki, and their four grandchildren to tonight's ceremony. And on that note, please welcome me and bring to this stage Richard Sherman. Goodness, this is so beautiful. Uh, you know, extemporaneous speech is not my forte, but but I, I do I do feel this. There's so many things going on in my brain and in my heart right now that I, I got to say some of them. This is hallowed ground for me. This, this place, uh, Walt Disney Studio. It was a place that Bob and I had a chance to truly spread our creative wings and to achieve so many wonderful goals that were set for us by this wonderful man named Walt Disney. Walt Disney was the greatest producer in the whole world, as far as I'm concerned. He was just the greatest. And to be honored by 
being selected to write his songs for him, for his films, was something I'll never forget. I consider it one of the greatest honors I've ever had, working for this wonderful man and for this wonderful studio. It means a great deal to me to be here right at this minute because of the fact that Bob's family is here, my family is here, and Bob's here upstairs looking down, looking down making sure I don't say too much. <laughs> but, I, I, but I will say this. It's, it's been a joy, it's been an honor, and it's been a privilege to work here at the Walt Disney Studios, work for Walt Disney and for all the brilliant, brilliant people with whom Bob and I associated through the years. I want to mention two names, Bill Walsh and Don DeGrati, two great, great creators who Bob and I had the, the honor of working with on so many projects. And I, I just wanted to make sure that you know that it's not just me up here, it's Bob, it's Don, it's Bill Walsh, and of all, Walt Disney, of course, because his great inspiration and his great assignments are the things that made us the Sherman Brothers, that made us what we were. So with great humility, I say thank you to all of you. It's a great honor to be here. And on behalf of my brother Bob and myself, God bless you all and thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. There is a, there's a goodness, <laughs> there's a goodness in this man that you can feel from far away. It's in his music and it's when he speaks, it's here on the stage with us and it's just such an honor to be with you on this occasion. So now without further ado, I don't even know what ado is, but I know we want no more of it. <laughs> we will now dedicate the Sherman Brothers stage. Thank you very much. 